All right, um, pre-cal academic, Friday, April 14th, uh, 7.5 notes. Johnson's produce, all right? Uh, all right, so they give you a fire hose of information. Um, they need, there's, there, there's two brands of fertilizer, okay? There's two brands of fertilizer, brand A and brand B. Um, I'm gonna make two variables, okay? X is gonna be the number of bags of A. And Y is gonna be the number of bags of B. Uh, say that one more time, sorry. You don't have to use like the variable that they give us. Um, no, that's not what Mrs. Ford did in her video, so I'm just going to do it exactly like she Wait, is that referring to brand A, or is that referring to the uh, units of... Brand A. Brand. Oh, okay. My brand. Okay. okay. So those are going to be separate variables. Yep, and then these two brands, they have two different um, elements in them, nitrogen and phosphorus. Brand A um, has what? How much nitrogen does it have? Four units. Four, okay, so it's got four units of my nitro. It's got uh, one unit of my B. And brand B has what? One unit of each. Boom. 
Oh, we got to do another uh, row for cost. Sorry, my apologies. Cost. Okay. A, A is ten dollars. B is five dollars. So I made this nice little chart. Nice little chart. Yay. Okay, um, and then let's write down our needs. So do you guys want me to like make like little lines? Is that easier to read? Nice little chart. So that's going to be your first step to help us digest. Digest the information, okay? Let's do this third column. Let's do a need. Need, okay? So how much N do, uh, does the company need? How much N does it say? How much nitrogen do they need? They need 180 units of N. And how many units of P? 90. Cool. Okay. Cost is what? What's the most they can pay? 800. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with some constraining equations. Okay. It kind of looks like a matrix. I think that's why it's in the matrix chapter. Okay. Okay. So four times, so they need four times the number of bags of A they buy, right? Right? Each bag of A has four nitrogens plus one times the number of Ys they buy. That's got to be greater than or equal to 180. Why do you use uh, greater than? Like, why do you have that? So they need 180, but if they have 190, yay, that's fine. They're not worried about like over fertilizing, I guess. They hate the environment. Sorry. That's corporate America. Okay. All right. Uh, and then they need nine at least 90p. So 1x. Okay. I love this. I love this idea. Okay. 1x plus 1y has to be greater than or equal to 90. What symbol am I going to use there? Less than or equal to 800, right? Because they can pay at most $800. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. What is the question asking, though? To each branch to be purchased. So we want an X and a Y. So we got to want an X and a Y, okay? They want, we want to do what here? Minimize or maximize the cost? We want to minimize. Okay, we want to minimize the cost. Okay, so first thing you do, okay, step one, chart. We did. Hi, I'm awesome. Don't forget that. You are loved. Okay, thank you. No, no yeah, don't forget you're loved. <laughs> don't forget you're loved. <laughs> I appreciate it. I do appreciate those notes. All right, um, so yeah, so we did a chart. And then we did equation or inequalities, I guess. Right, that was our second step. So questions so far. No? Alright. Third step is we graph everything, okay? We're gonna get really good at graphing linear inequalities. Graph everything. That's the third step. So along the x-axis here, or we're going to have the x-axis here, right? The y-axis right here, okay? What's the best way to graph an equation that's in standard form like this with both variables on the same side? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would just graph the intercepts, okay? So let's 
let's start, let's graph the um, y-intercept of this, uh, let me color code the equations, that'll make it a lot easier to see. Let's make this the green equation. Let's make this the blue equation. Yeah, this is gonna be a nightmare if I don't color code these. Let's make this one the red, or I should say inequality. Sorry, my apologies. Let's make that the red inequality. Okay, no, nope, don't undo it, please. Okay. Okay, so let's graph the green one. Let's graph my green. Okay, so it's y intercept is going to be what? It's going to be x equals 0, comma. Cover x up to get, to get, so to get the y intercept, I don't know if you remember from algebra, to get a y intercept on a line, on a linear equation, you cover up the x, solve for y. So that's 0, comma, 180. Okay, let's go up by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 112, 130. There you go. So that's the y-intercept for my green line. How do you think I get the x-intercept? Yeah, so to get the x-intercept, the point where the green line goes through the x-axis, I'm going to cover up my y, so ignore my y, let's cover up my y, okay, and then I solve for x. So what's my x-intercept going to be? 45. 45 comma 0. Let's do this as dashed lines, okay? And I want to be above or below that green line. What does my inequality say? 4x plus 1y is greater than or equal to 180. So we want to be above. We want to be on this side of the green line, okay? So why do we know that it's like the line? Uh, I'll get to that. Later. That's a little bit, yeah. Okay, so. Right, so I went through that pretty fast. We've been graphing linear inequality since Algebra 1. Um, are we confused on how I graph this line? So I just found the x and y intercepts and plotted those two points, then connected that, and then I connected the dots. And then I drew the arrows up because it's a greater than. Greater than goes up, okay? Hmm. Okay, let's do the blue line. Okay, what is my y-intercept of my blue line? Let's cover up x. Just ignore that. 0, 90. Okay, what's my x-intercept? It's also 90, right? And then we can play connect the dots. Do you want to be above or below the blue line? Above. Above, above, above. We want to be above the blue line. The plan is simple. We graph the inequality. All right, now do the same thing for the red line. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? We'll check in. We'll check in. Okay, okay. Is this like which problems where you have like the overlapping numbers and stuff? Yeah, kind of, yeah. So y-intercept of the third, the red line, 800 divided by 5, which is 20 times 80? Is that 80? Wait, no. 60. 60. Is that 60? 160. 160, thank you. So 0, 160. OK. And then x-intercept, what is that, 80? We want to be above or below the red line? Below. Yep. So where am I going to shade then? A little triangle. Yep, shade the little triangle here. Okay. 
It's the only place that meets all the conditions. The only region that's a, below the red and above the green and blue. So I'm going to shade. Let's do yellow. So then our answer, you see this little uh, yellow region here? Our answer is going to be one of these points, one of the vertices of that triangle. Okay. All right. It's going to be one of the vertices of that triangle. How do we know what those vertices are? So if you are a god at graphing, you can just type it up what the point is. But no one, or I'm not that good at art. Okay, so we're going to do some more equations, system of equation solving, okay? So to find what this, let's start with this point, where the red and blue intersect, right? To find where the red and blue intersect, to find that point, I'm going to solve this system of equations of the blue and red, okay? So x plus y is greater than or equal to 90. And 10x plus 5y is less than or equal to 800. Okay, fine. So we have to solve those, all three of those equation systems. So we're, this whole class is going to be like literally three problems because they take, each one takes so long. Okay? Good? Okay. So how do I want to do this? Let's make these equal signs, sorry. What's the easiest way to solve this system here? Uh, I think it's easy to do elimination, personally. Yeah, let's do some. So let's do let's do negative ten. Let's multiply this equation by negative ten. So negative ten x plus negative ten y is going to equal negative nine hundred. So I just multiply the top equation by negative ten. Okay, you good? Okay, and then I do what? Add up all the columns. Right. Okay. Negative five y equals negative one hundred. Y equals 20, okay? Um, you could leave it as an inequality, um, but like, I mean, it probably wouldn't matter much as long as you follow the right steps. Um, so we want to know where these two lines intersect, the red and blue lines, and the, the equation, like on the line, it's an equal sign. Like, those, like the, the lines themselves are the graph like of the equation. Okay. The inequality stuff only matters for the correct shading. We've already shaded correctly, so we can just make it all equals now. Okay. So y equals 20. How do I get x then? Sub it in, right? So I had x plus y equals 90, right? or x plus 20 equals 90. So x equals 70. Okay. So that point right there is 70 comma 20. Okay, so there's just like a lot to do. It's not, I don't think any of it's too difficult. Right, graph everything, right, then we shaded our correct region. Then find the vertices, find the vertices, which are the intersections. Okay, now we gotta do that two more times. Can I erase this? Okay, let's find where the green and blue intersect. Let's find that middle intersection, okay? So that's going to be for x plus y equals 90. And the green is 4x plus y equals 90. Okay. So let's find, let's, uh, let's just multiply this one by negative 1. So negative x, negative y, negative 90. Okay. And then I add the 
columns, I get 3x, these cancel, equals 90, x equals 30. Okay, so then since x plus y equals 90 and x equals 30, I know that y equals 60. So this is why it's so important to master like Algebra 1 concepts because you got to be able to do this stuff fairly quickly. All right, any confusion how I got that? So I'm just solving these systems of equations using elimination. Where do you get tripped up at? Oh yeah, there's a lot, a lot of places to mess up. Yeah, it's kind of kind of helps to be like a really obsessive person at math, because then you just like obsess over everything you do and you don't make any mistakes. You make less mistakes. Okay, now to get that third point. To get that third point, right, we're going to find the intersection of the green and red. Okay, so 4x plus y is greater than or equal to 180. And 10x plus 5y is less than or equal to 800. Okay, let's solve this by Elimination again. Sorry, make, let me make these equal signs. All right. Um, I'm going to multiply the top equation here by negative 5 so that this, the y's cancel, okay? So this is going to be negative 20x minus 5y equals that is that negative 900 okay. add the columns that cancels this gives you negative 10x equals negative 100 or x equals 10 and okay. plug that back in to do that equation the red equation 10 times 10 plus 5y equals 800 100 plus 5y equals 800, 5y equals 700. So 10 comma 140. We're almost done. We're almost done, okay? So those are our three points. These are important. One of these is gonna be our answer. One of these. The others will get voted off the island. Okay. So one of those pink points is gonna be our answer, okay? What are we trying to do? We want to minimize the cost, okay? Look at that pink, right? How many bags of each brand should be purchased to minimize the cost, okay? So what we're going to do, what's our cost function? It's going to be, right, the cost for a bag of A is 10. The cost for a bag of B is 5. So the cost, right, and we wrote it down already, the cost which equals 10x plus 5y. Right, we said that had to be less than or equal to 800, right? But we want to save as much money as possible. So let's make it as small as we can, okay? So let's try our three candidates. Our three candidates, right? We can try 1040, 10140, 3060. Is that third point? 7020, okay? I'm going to plug in all these points to that equation, okay? So 10 times 10 plus 5 times 140, what does that equal? Someone help me out. What? Close to 700. 
800. That's going to be 800. Okay, that's going to be the cost. Okay, 3060. Okay, let's plug that in. 10 times 30 plus 5 times 60. That equals 600. Okay, and then 10 times 70 plus 5 times 20. Okay. So which point is going to be our answer? What's that? Yeah, so do you guys see when I plug in this middle point here, it gives me the smallest cost, $600. Okay. So my answer, they should buy 30 bags of unit A, 30 bags of A, 60 bags of B. That's a bag. That's it. Done. Congratulations. So it does take a little bit. These, these take a little bit. What's the bottom structure? Uh, that was where I should have written all this stuff that I wrote up here. Yeah, I should have. Sorry. I just noticed there was a little chart there. Which Mrs. Ford made. Thank you, Mrs. Ford. Questions, comments, concerns? All right, that's it. Okay? All right? All right, might do, uh, okay, let's move on to the next one then. Same deal, right? Fire hose of information. Fire hose. Gonza, man, or Gonza Manufacturing, it's got two factories. Three grades of paper, we got low grade paper. Yeah, so low, medium, high, right? It needs to supply 24 tons of low grade. Six tons of medium grade, 30 tons of high grade, okay? All right. So most important thing in a word problem always is the last sentence. How many days should each factory operate to fill the orders at minimum cost, okay? Help me fill in this chart. Help me fill in this chart. So how much, so we're going to let X be the number of days factory A runs. Y equal the number of days that factory B runs. Those are going to be our variables here. Okay. How much load does A produce in a day? What does it say? Eight. Eight. How much medium does A produce in a day? What? One. One. How much high? What about, what's the cost for one day of factory A? Let's say 2,000. Okay. Are we having trouble seeing how I'm filling out the chart? No, okay, how much load does factory B make in a day? Two. All right, medium? What about high? Eight. How much does it cost to run B for a day? 4,000, right? How much load do we need? 24. Is it 24? How much medium? And how much high? And our cost has to be below what? Oh, it just says minimize the cost. So it doesn't give us a, a maximum dollar amount. It does not give us a maximum dollar amount. We do have a cost function. What's the cost function going to be? 2,000 times the number of days we run X, 4,000Y. We want to minimize that. Stop me if we're so what are what is our blue equation right here going to be for low? Yeah, we need at least twenty four. What about the middle one? X plus Y is greater than or equal to six. 
and 2x plus 8y is greater than or equal to 30. Okay? These are our two constraints, or three constraints right here, okay? Let's graph my blue guy. Okay, what's my x-intercept of my blue equation going to be? Or y-intercept, sorry. 12. So 0, 12. What's the x-intercept going to be? And do we want to be above or below that blue line? So it says greater than or equal to 24, so we want to be above. and y intercepts are going to be 6. Okay, you guys see that? And is that going to be shaded above or below? And then okay. my y-intercept of my green line, what's that? 15 over 4. Okay, 15 over 4. What? Yeah, so right before, right below four. So right here. Okay. X intercept, cover up Y, it's gonna be 15. So these, the steps aren't too hard, there's just a lot of steps. Just takes a while, just takes a little while. It just takes some time. Okay. Okay. Um, and we're going to shade above or below that line. Above. So where where where's my uh, where am I going to shade? Where's my yellow region here? See that little tiny little triangle? Right here. Okay, I need I need a skinnier highlighter. There we go. That's our answer region, okay? So then what are my three possible solutions going to be? Where are they going to be? I check what? The vertices of that triangle, okay? Fun. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. Sorry. So let's start solving. Let's solve some equations, some systems. What? You're having too much fun right now. Yeah, I'll try to spice it up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kind of locked in. I want to make sure I'm teaching this the best way. I'm like kind of focused right now. Okay. All right, let's find where the green and blue intersect. Let's find where the green and blue intersect. So we've got the blue equation. I don't know why I'm looking at my computer and the TV's right here. Green. Right. Um, so I'm going to solve these. How are we feeling about solving these systems? Are we? Am I, did I make a mistake? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. So nice having a whole 
room of people to prove my work. It's kind of nice. All right. Um, so are you feeling okay about solving these? Because I'm still solving them really fast, and I don't know if that's okay or not. Okay. So let's let's multiply this line by negative four, so the x is canceled. So that becomes a negative eight. This becomes a negative thirty-two. This becomes negative one twenty. Add the column. Boom. Uh, what is that? Negative ninety-six. Did I do that right? Anyone did I make a mistake? Hopefully I did. I don't think I did though. Yeah, okay. So it's negative 96 divided by negative 30. That is 3.2. I'm just gonna leave that in decimal form, okay? So y equals 3.2. What's my x equal to then? So 8x plus 2 times 3.2 equals 24. That's solved by x equals 2.2. Thank you, Allie Kaplan. Okay, so one of our possible, I'm going to write the possibles, possible solutions, possible answers, and keep a list, keep a running list, uh, through 2.2 comma 3.2. Any questions on that? Okay, now we're going to do, let's do the, where the blue and red equations intersect. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 2, so these will cancel. Negative 2x plus negative 2y equals negative 12. Okay, add them all up. 6x equals 12. x equals 2. Okay. And then 8 times 2 plus 2y equals 24. What is that? 4? Four, four? Like before there? So my other possible solution is 2 comma 4. And then let's do uh, red and green. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the top equation by negative 2, so the x's cancel. Add up. So y equals 3. Okay, then 2 times 2x plus 8 times 3 equals 30. Okay, uh, negative x equals 3. But my other possible answer is 3 comma 3. Okay. So I'm doing a bunch of simple math that I hope you guys know how to do, so I'm doing this really fast. Are we okay? We okay? Okay. So then what do we do with these three possible answers, our three intersection points? To what? To the cost. Yeah, good job. Good job. Yeah, plug them into the cost. We're going to have 2,000, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to do this really efficiently, sorry, I'm going to make a math assembly line. Plug in that first point, that's 2.2 and 3.2. Second point is two, four, third point is three. Okay. 
Okay. What do these get? Someone help me out. What does the top equation evaluate to? Uh, 17,200. 17, what does the second one evaluate to? Is that 20,000? What is the third one? 18. All right. What's my lowest number here? Right? So we want this. This is our solution. Okay, we want this point right here. Okay? So run factory A for 2.2 days. Okay, they got to come in for like an hour and a half on the third day. Then run factory B for 3.2 days. Okay. Questions, comments, concerns? Wait through that. All right, uh, there's one more. Do you guys want to do this on your own, or do you want to, want to watch me do another one? Yeah, do you want to catatonically stare at me doing it, or do you want to do it on your own? Let's do it on our own. Let's do it on our own. And I'll just do it stream of consciousness. So try that third one on your own, right? Best way to learn is by doing, right? Best way to learn how to drive is by driving, right? What? Uh, we'll do, we're going to move on to 7 4 next class. Yeah. 7 4 will have some review in it. I'm, uh, we got the quiz Tuesday. So if we do 7 4 notes Monday, quiz on it Tuesday, that's a little bit of a quick turnaround, you think? So I'll, I'll teach the, we've already, you guys have done graphing rationals twice in your career here already. So we'll do, we'll go over that on Tuesday, but I'll make a little short video notes if, in case you want to learn partial. So this part, this part of 7-4, partial fraction decomposition, I'll make a little video for that. It's actually not too bad. It'll be short. I'll make like a 10 minute video for it in, in case you want to watch it over the weekend. Is that over the Yeah. Quiz is 7-3 through 7-5. All right, try that on your own, and I'll do it on my iPad while you guys are working on it. The graphs? I love potatoes. I love corn. Um, yeah. So x is the number of acres of potato. Potato. <laughs> you got the reference? There you go. Boil them, mash them, cook them in a stew. Potatoes. Very much taters, precious. What's going on in the column there? Is that the C? Uh, that's going to be. Oh, there's acres and seed costs. Acres, seed costs. No profit. All right, so the number of acres of potatoes, this, is the, this row on top is going to be a one. You guys confused by that? Like the number of acres for the acres are on line, right? Each acre of potatoes he plants gives us one acre of potatoes. So that's why they're both, those are both one. Kind of weird. Weirdly simple. Okay? Seed cost for each acre of potatoes, what is it?
It could be any three of them. This is going to be a maximized one. Yeah, so acres has to be less than or equal to 70, right? You only have 70. And the cost has to be less than or equal to 3,000. Profit has to be, we want to maximize that, right? Right? There you go. So three equations, right? X plus Y is less than or equal to 70. 20X plus 60Y is less than or equal to 3,000. And then our cost function is 150x plus 50y. Our profit, sorry, profit function. Questions on how I got that far? Okay, I'll, okay, I'll do the rest of this stream of consciousness. Be below, we want to be below both lines, so this is our region. Okay. So now our region is plug 11. So our possible answers are going to be the origin. This one, this one, this one, okay? So this point, this is the origin, so this is going to be 0, comma, 0. This point right here, what point is this? This is just my y-intercept of my red function, right? That's going to be 0, comma, 50. This is my x-intercept of my blue line. That's uh, 70 comma 0. Right? Let me know if I've messed up. Yeah. And then this point right here, that's where my red and blue intersect. So what is that? what with those four points? Plug them into where and take the biggest. So I plug those four points into here, right, and whichever one gave me the biggest number would be my answer, okay? Right. Take my four points right here. Okay, 
Let's do the seven five homework for Monday, please. I can work today, guys.